Parkinson's disease, PD, primarily affects the neural pathways controlling the motor systems, usually due to a deficit in dopamine. Typically, patients with PD are treated with dopamine replacement therapy using medications such as levodopa. However, the long-term use of levodopa may often induce involuntary erratic body movements called levodopa-induced dyskinesia, or LID, particularly in younger patients. Although previous studies have indicated that LID may be associated with changes in brain white matter, a detailed neuroanatomical understanding is still lacking. To bridge this gap, a team of researchers led by Professor Nobutaka Hattori from the Department of Neurology, Faculty of Medicine, Juntendo University, investigated the changes in white matter microstructures in the neural pathways of patients with PD with or without LID and in healthy adults. The researchers used multimodal neuroimaging techniques including advanced diffusion-weighted magnetic resonance imaging and diffusion tensor imaging to get detailed insights into the changes in participants' white matter. Interestingly, the researcher team, which also included Takashi Ogawa, Taku Hatano, and Koji Kamagata from Juntendo University, observed that patients with PD who showed LID had lesser white matter degeneration when compared with those without LID. There was also a significant region-specific variation in these observations, with the difference being more pronounced in the temporal lobe fibers, which showed approximately a two-fold odds ratio linked with the incidence of LID. These results point to the role of demographic factors such as age in LID development and help explain the greater susceptibility of younger patients with PD of developing LID. These patients tend to have more preserved neural fibers, thus better synaptic plasticity and lesser white matter degeneration, making them particularly vulnerable to LID. In summary, this study provides comprehensive knowledge of the neural changes underlying motor complications in advanced PD. This detailed understanding can further aid in the selection of more appropriate therapeutic drugs for improving the quality of life of patients with this disease.